Are you in DevOps or a developer recently tasked with security responsibilities? In our other videos, we learned about using Cloud KMS to use keys that you own and control to encrypt your data at rest in Google Cloud. In this video, we're going to go into detail about the support that you'll get for using and managing your Cloud KMS keys with Google Cloud services. This integration helps you focus on your cloud development without having to think about managing key access and inventory. So you've created a bucket, and your teammates all need access to the bucket. Do you need to give everyone access to your key that encrypts the bucket, as well as to the bucket itself? Oh no, that just multiplies the complexity. Now you have to keep track of resources and keys, and which resources, which keys protect. Ouch. Fortunately, Google CMEC integrated services make this straightforward. First, let's review. Like Google's default encryption, CMEC is server-side, symmetric, envelope encryption of customer data. The difference from Google's default encryption is that CMEC protection uses a key that a customer controls. Whether you create your keys manually or rely on KMS AutoKey, your keys will behave the same way. Cloud services that have a CMEC integration use keys you create in Cloud KMS to protect your resources. Services that are integrated with Cloud KMS use symmetric encryption. The protection level of the key is within your control. Key material never leaves the Cloud KMS system boundary. Your symmetric keys are used to encrypt and decrypt in the envelope encryption model. Now you've created a bucket, and your teammates need access to it. Your bucket is encrypted with a key that you've created. How do you manage access? You do not need access to the key separately from the data. Instead of having to manage access to the data and to the keys, each cloud project has a service account for each service that performs encryption and decryption with customer managed keys. The service account is like a concierge that keeps track of who should have access to the keys. Once you give the service account access to your Cloud KMS key, that service account will use that key to protect your bucket. If you use KMS AutoKey, then AutoKey will check that the service account exists and will assign it the correct access to the key. You can just access the data in your bucket. The service account will automatically decrypt the data for you if you have access to the bucket. No additional request or access is required, and since the service account handles the encryption and decryption in the background, the user experience for accessing your bucket and other cloud resources is similar to using Google's default encryption. So we just saw how Google's Cloud KMS integration takes care of access to the data. It also keeps track of the relationship between the data and the keys so that you don't have to. Each resource tracks the key or key version that protects it in the metadata for that resource. This happens automatically when you encrypt the resource with your customer managed key. Key tracking shows you which resources each key protects. It also summarizes all the information about how your keys are used, what cloud resources the key protects, who has permissions on the key. And again, this happens automatically when you use Cloud KMS. Once you've set up your own keys, the experience of accessing resources is similar to using Google's default encryption. You don't have to manage access to the keys, and keys are tracked for you. Now that you see how easy it is to use Cloud KMS to protect your resources, you can use them to protect all of your cloud resources. This concludes our series on Cloud KMS and AutoKey. We hope you found this helpful, and thanks for watching.